This video will show you how to track and manage your off Facebook activity, which is how Facebook is tracking your internet movements outside of its app. So tap on your Facebook icon, and again, I'm in a mobile version on Android app, uh, the Android, Android version of the Facebook app. Tap the hamburger icon or the stacked lines for your settings. Um, then you're going to, it'll be all the way on the bottom, but you're going to scroll down to settings and privacy and tap settings. Then if you scroll all the way down to your Facebook information and tap off Facebook activity. Now it explains to you what this is, but you can even see represented by some icons that you'll have specific to you on this. Um, it shows you which apps are giving information to Facebook about you. So one thing you could do is manage your off Facebook activities. So you tap that and it is going to ask you to put in your password, which I'm actually going to add in here because I have a password, my password manager, which I recommend. Um, and it says you're off Facebook activity. It, this is a summary of the 251 apps and websites that have shared your activity. Now, if you haven't checked this in a while, you may have more than that. Uh, the first time I checked this, I had almost 800 apps that have shared their its activity with Facebook. So one thing you can do is you can clear history, um, but you can also look down and say, well, how, what's going on with all these things? You know, when did they, when did it transmit information? And you can um, look at any of these and it'll give you some more information about that. Um, kind of startling when you first see it. How did Facebook receive this activity? It tells you. So you can actually say, I would like to clear that history. Um, it will, that means it'll disconnect you from that account. Um, clearing history may lock you out of those websites, but you can still use Facebook to log back in, which means it'll reconnect that. It does not change the amount of ads you're going to see. So you can clear that history. Um, you also can, so I just cleared that history, but I also have some more options. Um, so this is where it gets important because you can set to what, it, what you want it to do in the future. So um, you can view your information by category, like so saying what it's shared and, and everything like that. You can also download your information so you can look at it later. Manage future activity. Now this is where you can actually say, I don't want you to do this anymore. Okay, manage future activity. Notice it took several steps to get here because Facebook doesn't want you to do this. But you can actually turn off future activity. It says it'll disconnect you. It may take 48 hours. It'll still receive activity from the organizations you visit. But um, your activity history will be disconnected from your account. And it prevents you from logging into apps and websites with Facebook. Which is fine because, again, remember, Facebook is a, a data um, organization. It's not about social media. Turn off. And then it lets you know what activity did you turn off. Okay. So that's how you go mm -hmm. in and do that. And uh, I do recommend that you do it and probably need to do it once a quarter because I've turned it off before mm -hmm. and then it uh, turns itself back on. So just keep track of it and uh, make sure you're managing that because that is your data and that is a gold mine. That is the tomorrow's currency and even today's currency for, for you. So hopefully you found this helpful. I hope you can keep yourself a private as much as possible when interacting on Facebook. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if this was helpful and uh, check out our other Facebook and, and different social media videos as well.